Hello collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Um, so there could be someone that is in a coma or is going to be falling into a coma. Um, and this has something to do with some type of trauma that is playing out. I don't know if this is a feminine energy or a masculine. I really don't know. Um, but there's someone in a community that's going to be falling into a coma. I don't know if someone was sick. I don't know if someone had an operation. I've been seeing the Ten of Wands quite a lot. Um, but someone is going to be falling in a coma and you all will need to start prepping to say your farewells. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the tarot reading. Um, we have a king of swords that is in some type of mental imprisonment. Someone is kind of trapped right now in a situation um, because the truth is out about something, some type of contract he may have put himself in for money. Uh, someone may have been trying to bind maybe a feminine energy or maybe a younger energy into something very karmic with him. He could have a lot of desires for you, but maybe the feelings are not reciprocated. So this man has been doing something behind the scenes to trap you in a very toxic and unhealthy situation because this is someone who may be like a full-blown narcissist. Someone's very dishonest. Someone is into like the full form, old form of magic, uh, a lot of manipulation, a lot of mind games, just really childish and immature behaviors. Um, he may be reconsidering his alliance with a toxic group or maybe he's trying to uh, heal his toxic ways, but this is someone that's far too narcissistic. Um, so if they come towards you with some type of apology, it's not something that gen that's genuine. Someone is in a bit of a fender bender. They may end up going to jail or going to prison for something that they did to you behind the scenes. And they may be worried as well about what it is that you know what you're going to do because someone does not know exactly how something is about to play out. They don't know. Uh, they, they don't know how much it is you know about what an institution and they themselves has been doing behind the scenes. Um, there's a lot of fighting going on behind the scenes amongst these people. As far as two people coming together, this has been the repeating repeated theme in the reads. Uh, a karmic community coming together to block two people from either working together or being in a union together. So this King of Swords could have been hired. Um, to trap you, bond you, or something like that. Maybe someone developed some type of very unhealthy uh, desires for you, or someone just got really addicted to blocking you, being malicious towards you. Someone may be even jealous of you. There's a lot of envy coming from this person. They see you as someone that's like beneath them. Um, so it may also have something to do with being like misogynistic. Maybe they see the fact that you're a feminine energy and they don't understand how it is that you are overcoming these spell works, these magic, these rituals that they're doing against you, all of these tactics they're using to block you. Someone may be trying to temper with your finances, your image, and all of that. Someone is losing quite a lot. He's going to have to cut his losses and move on um, because you know exactly what it is this person has been doing. This is someone that considers themselves to be a magician. Something that they were hoping will go their way is not going their way because your ancestors are stepping in to balance out this situation. The truth is being brought out um, as far as to an emperor or about an emperor. He's going through a really horrible tower right now and this is justice. Since this man was trying to cause you some type of blockage, maybe trying to block your forward movement, create a stalemate, uh, making sure that things don't go in your favor. If you were supposed to have some type of new beginning, whether in love, business, finance, someone was trying to control all of it. Now he's going through the same thing because now he's losing a lot of money. He may not have the kind of money coming in now that he was having before coming in, maybe because he was being paid to do you something. He's going to have to cut his losses and move on. There's something that's going to be dismantled in somebody's life. 
if this is like a business, his foundation, the universe is dismantling it. And he's going to have to rebuild it because this is what he did to you or tried to do to you. Someone went very far with something that he should have let go. But there's something about this man's ego. And even now, as I speak, I'm being told that this person is still going, moving forward with some type of very narcissistic behavior. Because he has this thing where he feels like women have their place, men have their place, and he's the authority figure when it comes to between comes to you and him. And mind you, this is not someone who's your father. This is not someone who, you know, pays any bills in your life. You've never maybe dated this person. It's like you two are on two different sides of the world or on two different planets for what you're concerned. But this man is very narcissistic. This is someone that abuses their power. Um, this is someone that's mentally unstable as well and takes reckless action. This is someone trying to steal maybe like a ten of pentacles from you. If you have a business, uh, be very cautious with your business. Do everything you need to do to protect it. If you have money and things like that, this is someone that does not mind invading people's privacy to get into business bank accounts, all kinds of stuff. This is the truth being exposed about this man's toxic ways. Maybe this is something he's been hiding for a long time. Someone may have even gotten his kid trapped in something. Uh, maybe he groomed his child to start doing something. I don't know how old this child is. This could be a teenager or this could be a young adult that he got involved in something very karmic. Not the truth is coming out. And he's more than likely going to have to explain to this child why it is that he's being locked up why it is that something is playing out the way it is but someone's foundation is about to be dismantled from the ground he may want to come towards you and tell you the truth because this is someone that has developed some type of emotions for you um and i don't think this is something that's reciprocated again i think whatever conversation you and this person have is going to help put things to rest um there could be an empress energy that's going through some tower behind the scenes maybe this is the person in a coma uh this could be someone's mother this could be his mother going uh in some type of coma and they're gonna have to say their goodbyes uh this is karma playing out because there is something where it's like this is maybe his mother or whoever is in this coma is very important to someone in this collaboration and that is why the universe is taking them away because this person tried to take something really special from you um so the universe is teaching this person a lesson they said well you wanted this person to hurt they didn't do anything to you you always knew this person was genuine and you knew what you were doing was wrong but your toxicity your your karmic ways your ego is what kept kept you going right so because you did nothing you've been innocent the whole time he's going he's going to be going through some type of karma someone may want to communicate with you because he's under judgment uh, going through some type of ending if there's some type of image he's been out here presenting to people it's going to be dismantled someone is about to be out here being rejected people may not want to work with him and he's going to have to find the strength the discipline to move forward to have a new beginning and that's going to be after he loses everything and has to start over because someone has to get a taste of their own medicine. This is like a man who I see someone and I've been seeing this for a while. This is a man that goes into like different systems and things like that. Someone is very like into tech, uh, in like hacking into systems and things like that. And he considers himself to be a professional. There's something he did that backfired horribly. And this is why he's stuck in this mental imprisonment. Someone could be going to jail as well. Someone has been working with an institution behind the scenes. This man could be losing his mind behind the scenes as well. Due to the fact that you're still going to be having this new beginning, this new offer. He may be worried that you're not going to be choosing him for this new beginning. And I don't think you will because this is someone that just... I, I, don't, I don't even know what the word is to use to express or to emphasize how, how dark someone is. Okay? Um... Someone is very angry, is what I'm hearing. He's very angry about the truth coming out. He's angry about you having some type of love offer coming in, some type of love of reciprocity. He's angry about you being in charge of your life. Someone wants to be able to control you. And mind you, you don't have anything again to do with this person on a personal level. And I think that's the problem. Someone may want to have a personal interaction with you, but you don't want to have a personal interaction with this person because you may already know what this person is really about. Like this person presents themselves to be very genuine, but in reality, they're very toxic and karmic. They may be someone that has always been this way, but they've always been able to present themselves to be someone genuine. 
someone has been refusing to refusing to heal they have a lot of legal issues coming in and he may be living in fear that he's going to be going to jail and that'll be his karma okay either he's going to go to jail with this uh it'll source out here or he's going to have to pay a lot of money to settle something someone has been afraid of losing everything that he's built but the way he's done it is the question okay it's the question the big question mark is like you can pretend to be in the upright or you want. This is possibly a king of pentacles as well. Or he wants to be a king of pentacles. This could be someone that presents himself to be a king of pentacles, but he's not really a king of pentacles. Your ancestors, you may have some type of bodyguard that is bad ASS and is causing havoc in these people's lives by balancing something out. He is not getting his wish fulfillment as far as trying to steal something from you. He's very disappointed because you're still going to be having a new beginning, taking a new path. Uh, someone may want to come in and cause you illusions. This is someone that's been invading your privacy quite a lot, a whole lot. Um, this could be someone's boss as well. I remember when I had that vision because I've been seeing someone, a man in my visions, just hacking into systems. There's some type of password that starts with an A, like A03, something like that, A03Q, something like that. I saw in one of my visions of a man just hacking into different systems and he has some type of file that he has created that he uses for his hacking. I don't know if it's passwords or you know, codings and things like that on how to get into different systems, maybe different computers, uh, cell phones, files. Someone has been doing something for a very long time and they've been trying to hide it, but the truth is out. So now this person may want to come in and give you some type of apology. It's not genuine. The only reason this person is coming towards you is because they are living in fear of losing everything. They've always been causing illusions. They don't know how much it is that you know about what it is they've been doing. Are you going to sue them? Someone is just kind of crazy, losing it behind the scenes with a community. He's not the only one. It's a group of people losing it behind the scenes because there was some type of plot that was being planned against you. And maybe things didn't go accordingly. Uh, and it left these people in a bit of a fender bender and they may be losing their minds behind the scenes. Someone is very afraid that you are going to listen to your intuition and leave them out in the cold. I'm telling you, this man is headed right for poverty. So it don't matter what it is he's been doing out here. Someone is still headed for poverty and he wants to come in and give you some type of friendship offer. Don't accept any friendship from this, from this person or anyone in this community this is someone that's been working behind the scenes assuming that you don't know like you thought it was a secret maybe you just kept your mouth shut like a lot of high priestesses and empresses do and you just knew the universe was going to take care of the situation but there's a lot of emotions going on behind the scenes within a family dynamic um and yeah there's a lot of conflict a lot of chaos there may be some type of couple breaking up the truth is how people are looking into this couple now. Maybe they told some type of lie and said that maybe you caused some type of problem in their relationships or something. Like this couple is being looked into. This is a karmic couple. So maybe this is like a wife or a husband in a relationship that's been saying that um, you've been interfering with their, their relationship. You may not even know these people, or if you know them, you probably don't even interact with these people at all. Maybe you met them at work, at church, at school or something. Um, and that was kind of it. As far as getting into their personal situation, you probably don't even know anything about it. So now that the truth is out, there could be some type of separation that ends up taking place. This is a very toxic couple. This relationship has been toxic for a long time. Um, but instead of them taking responsibility, yeah, it's been a toxic relationship for a long time. They're not in the situation they are in because of something a star seed did or empress or emperor did. They're in the situation they are in because that's how they've always been. But they've always been able to hide that truth. These are people that argue a lot behind the scenes. These may, this may even be a couple that's into three-way situationships or having a uh, lane with other couples and things like that, having their options within their marriage. This is a very karmic couple that I'm uh, seeing. Um, but when you see them in the public, you're going to see two people that are very supportive of one another, two people that are on the same page, two people that work together as a team, very respectful, religious, Christian is what I'm hearing. But these are false people. Um, these are false religious people. There is some type of 
split going on in a relationship and it's these two okay some type of relationship is over uh maybe someone interfere with you being able to get into a relationship and the universe's way of balancing that out is by the, these two being separated so is that what you take from someone is what it is you're going to lose and that's why i, I, I said that phrase on my channel don't do not take what you are not willing to lose i'm telling you this whole family, the friendship group, the karmic community, the fake friends, whatever you want to call them, it's a lot of conflict going on. They're all arguing. They're all, someone may be crying. Someone may be yelling. I know I've been hearing a masculine yelling for a few days now, and he's just pissed up behind the scenes. Uh, someone's having a hard time finding people to work with him to further some type of narrative. Or this could be a woman that's having a hard time finding people to work with her to further some type of agenda. When it comes to manipulating people in pl places and things around you to make you look like something you're not. They want to trap your abundance. They want to hold your abundance. They want to have control of it. These people may be very jealous and envious of the fact that you are so abundant and the universe pours into you so easily and so much um so they've maybe been out here trying to take away from you there's a lot of jealousy and just i don't understand why these people have this kind of time to be doing this kind of stuff it's so childish and immature like how do you have this much time in a day to invest into taking from other people trying to block other people uh i i, I don't get it i don't get it whoever this king of source is maybe it ain't uh, oh my gosh this is not something you will wish on your worst enemy. This is like a nightmare. This is a nightmare. He may be living in regret for forming some type of friendship with a karmic couple, a group, a community, a family. Someone is living in a lot of regrets. And whatever kind of friendship he's trying to bring towards you because he thinks that's going to balance things out if he comes in and apologize it's not really an apology it's just him trying to figure out what it is you know so he can know how to move because this is someone that's a cold-blooded narcissist um but this is not someone genuine this is someone very devious you may have another kink of swords behind the scenes that you're not uh privy to maybe has been looking out for you could be in the justice system watching over you and just maybe looking into things because there's something these people have been doing for a long time that has cut the attention of the justice system these may be people who they have connections in the justice system and because they have connections in the justice system they feel that they're invincible they misuse those connections and things like that and people like these they get so comfortable being toxic and karmic out in the open that sometimes they forget that not everybody is like them so they'll get real comfortable and just talk to everybody and say yeah we're trying to take a high a high priestess down we're trying to take an empress down. We're trying to take an emperor down. Yeah, they didn't do what it is. We said we said they did, but we don't want them to have what it is they're supposed to be having. So we're doing things. We're taking care of things behind the scenes to make sure they don't get what belongs to them. So someone may have said something really like irrelevant to a police officer or FBI or something, and they didn't know it. And he or she decided to look into something, or it could be a judge they were talking to, and they didn't know that that judge took something serious, that that lawyer took something serious and decided, I'm telling you. <laughs> Ooh, someone said the wrong thing to the wrong person in the court system. This person is choosing to balance something out. They are aware of some type of plot to end someone's new beginning, someone's life, someone's hope. This person is balancing things out for a high priestess to make sure that they get the abundance that is due to them and they can successfully end this chapter. So whoever has been talking, we want to thank you for talking because it is helping someone in the court system that's in the upright balance something out so a light worker can move on with their life. The truth is out in a community. A community may be choosing to accept the truth and move on, put an end to this karmic collaboration because all of them are experiencing too many problems, all this uh 
reckless actions, taking impulsive actions to do someone something all because of either jealousy or they don't even know why it is they're doing it. Maybe their mom told them someone was doing something to them. Maybe their dad told them something, someone was doing something to them and they're finding out that it's not true. People are starting to walk away. They're listening to their intuition. They're choosing to heal, take charge of their lives, find, you know, worth within themselves because that's what everybody is supposed to do. Yeah. People are putting an end to this collaboration. They're making their choices. They're deciding to move on with their life. It's a, this ain't going nowhere. We're not going to win. We're not going. Yeah, I'm telling you, we're not getting what it is we thought we were going to get. Uh, the truth is out about a woman of high honor. Someone may have stolen some, some type of abundance um, and it's been taken from her and returned to the rightful owner. But someone is being exposed, maybe stuck in some type of legal issues, court case. Someone may have been pretending to be in the upright, but the truth is out. While she's about to be being exposed, someone may even end up on the news for lying, cheating, stealing, forgery, and all of that, you're going to be receiving your abundance and having a new beginning. So the un the universe is balancing things out by the hand of someone in the upright, in the court system, or this could just be my yacht kicking ASS and taking names out here. Um, this woman has been living a very fulfilling life for a long time at the detriment of you. You could be a, a mother yourself. You could be a wife. Uh, you could be just maybe a single woman living life, working really hard to make ends meet. And the whole time you've had some type of abundance out here. Someone has had a group of people collaborating together to make sure that you don't receive. So while you've been living in poverty, maybe out here isolated, being rejected, these people have been living the La Vita Loca um, and tempering with your energy as well, uh, making sure that you don't get any type of offers but here it is there's an offer coming in and it has these people burning because it's going to balance your life out for you there's a tower going on in a community and they are living in fear right because whatever is yours is being protected from this karmic group this could be a union some type of business because you could be someone that's very innovative and someone is deciding right to work with you give to you because they see you as wish fulfillment they may want to commit to you maybe they want to get married or this could be someone that's married but going through some type of separation i don't know what this is i don't want to touch on that um for too long but someone may want a commitment with you get married you could be an empress energy and this is going to balance things out and lead to you having lots of options in life when it comes to resources networking opportunities abundance and you're going to commit yourself to what it is that you want to do. So you're going to have options and you need to choose wisely. Uh, you may end up having some type of contract with a king of pentacles, king of wands, energy that wants to invest into you and build a ten of pentacles with you. Someone may find you to be very beautiful. Also, whatever kind of connection he had with a queen of wands behind the scenes, that is over with because there's someone that's been pretending to be in the upright pretending to be something that she's not uh someone is about to have to get out here and work and she doesn't want to have to do that she could be this woman out here who's being exposed the the, the, the the woman of high honor that's being exposed she's about to be out here having to actually put in the work learn what it means to earn your living okay because someone is used to her whole life okay but someone is losing it behind the scenes going through a lot of emotions maybe throwing a lot of temper tantrums and things of that nature behind the scenes um because she knows things or something is not going her way okay this man has decided i'm telling you he has decided to move on we'll be meeting with whoever he's supposed to be working with in divine timing maybe this community is choosing to uh fix something balance something out because now they know the truth there's some type of truth that people have been hiding or someone has been working really hard to hide for a long time and they can no longer hide it someone has been using magic to manipulate people about a uh, queen of pentacles um there's another queen of pentacles within a community that's very unhappy someone could be in some type of spiritual timeout maybe losing a lot behind the scenes because of something 
they participated in and they're going to have to move on um, because the emperor has decided to balance something out. There could be something going on behind the scenes that has these people living in fear. But you do have still a few narcissists that are going to keep going with something and it's going to keep backfiring. Okay, uh, so whoever you're supposed to be with us have foresight. Uh, or maybe they're waiting for the right time to meet with you. They're not trying to force it anymore because nothing like that ever works. If you try to force some type of meeting, the universe never allows things like that to happen because they don't want you to get with someone that's good for you at the wrong time. And then their relationship goes down the drain and then they got to start all over with your healing process again. So someone is waiting for the right time to connect with you. And when it's time for them to connect with you, it'll happen. Okay. Um, something is being balanced out as far as your work. Your creativity is being upgraded. Your uh, passion for life, your aspirations, all of those things are being upgraded for you. Um, you're someone that's going to be held on a high pedestal. You're being sh your, your work is being shown as something that's genuine. So someone could have been out here pretending to be uh, in the upright, pretending to be you, pretending to be gifted, pretending to be... I don't, know what, I don't know what someone was pretending to be, but the truth is out, okay? It is absolutely mind-boggling. Some people may be even embarrassed at the fact that they were connected to someone that's been out here pretending to be genuine the whole time. Or also there's a group behind the scenes that was working with this person. Maybe they didn't know the extent that someone was going to, uh, to pretend to be like wish fulfillment, someone of high honor. Someone that just cares about money is what I'm hearing. All they care about is money. Okay. This King of Swords, I don't know if he's in like a relationship or their relationship could be over, or these are two people that are just happily toxic together. It's a very karmic relationship this man might be in. Um, I don't know if he tried to get you into some type of three-way situation or he just wanted you to see him as wish fulfillment or as an option. Uh, someone sees you as young and naive, but they're finding something else out. Uh, and it may have them kind of bothered. Um, maybe their ego has been struck, but not intentionally by you. This is just someone that just refuses to see things from a higher perspective. I think someone just refuses to heal, Okay. Maybe he's reconsidering his alliances with this family, he may have sent this family some type of communication, and they're out here arguing, fighting, cursing, whatever it is they're doing. Um, these people were celebrating your downfall. They were praying on your downfall. You know it's really sad when a group of people will get together and do something like that. Um, I don't even know how you get kind of any type of fulfillment out of that, but the sad thing is that they're the ones going through the laws and like, because that's how the universe always sets these kind of things up. The harder you pray for someone else's down for, the harder you fall. Okay? The harder to come, the harder to fall is what I just heard. Okay? Uh, so some, something has been balanced out in the court system or just in the situation. Someone may be taking some type of action. Maybe this is the King of Cups that's taking some type of action to present you some type of uh, offer. It could be in love. Maybe he's le leaving a karmic situation behind, a karmic institution, uh, taking some type of action to balance things out. This institution is falling from grace. These people have work been working really hard to prevent this person from balancing the situation out with you. This could be a king of cups, okay? And he's finding his strength to move on. Someone may have mastered himself in silence, uh, and maybe now he's ready to come towards you and make you an offer so that you two can successfully close this chapter and build the Ten of Pentacles that you both want to have. That business empire, that legacy, whatever it is you want to call it. But things are being balanced out for the both of you. It's like you two have been reciprocating the same energy, but on two different sides of the world or wherever, two different sides of your community, the city, the state, <laughs> whichever one, okay? Oh, man. Yeah, there's someone really, mm, I didn't even want to touch on her, but here she comes out. Here she comes out. <sighs> it's a king of swords out here. This man, I don't know if he's in, like, in regret for working with a queen of cups reverse, or this is someone he's going to be following. This is someone he chose, so he's stuck with her. But she's leading him down a path that's going to be very much uh, catastrophic. 
So I think he sees it as him being loyal to someone, loyal to someone, excuse me. Yeah, he sees it as him being loyal, but he's being loyal to the wrong person. This is when loyalty leads you to the grave and someone is about to step right into poverty because of their loyalty to the wrong person. Okay, absolutely. They're trying to force someone to be in a connection with a, a, a karmic person. It's like they want you to go back to your past and they want a king of cups to go back to his past. Both of the pasts are very toxic and karmic as, as heck. Don't have any good intentions for you, but it looks like you both are standing your ground and you're choosing to have a new beginning. I don't know what this is. These people's energies are just so draining. I can't do this stuff. Like, how do you all have this kind of time? Someone may even just want to come into your energy as well with a friendship or an apology just to dismantle your energy. They don't like your calm. They don't like your peace. They don't like your nurturing energy, your compassionate energy. They don't like any of that. Someone wants you to be depressed. Someone wants you to be emotionally exhausted. Someone wants you to be emotionally imbalanced, uh, just moody. Like they want you to be the king of the queen of cups to reverse, basically. So whatever friendship it is they're coming in to give you, it's not anything genuine. You don't need a friendship from this person. Um, and I think you already know that you're a high priestess. You already know. You don't need a friendship from this person. Your ancestors are ba uh, balancing a situation out and moving and taking action on your behalf. Your behalf, excuse me. Uh, and maybe you're not aware. Um, but this whole family, baby, I don't know what to tell you. It ain't no love. Nothing, no love, but it's a lot of toxicity, two way, three ways, activity, monot I don't even want to get into it. Lots of drinkings and things like that. What I just heard is, um, <laughs> as above, so below, something is coming down, crashing really, really bad. This is something that could have been avoided if these people would have stopped doing something or hadn't gone so far with this. Something is unfair because of how many people these people gather up, this community gather up to come after one person. And you got to be a special kind of damaged when you cannot see that there's a problem with a whole group of people coming after one or two people. There's, it's a special kind of damage. But you got to be damaged in a way where it's that you're irreparable to think that there's something that is okay. It's never okay. It is never okay. And then to be living in denial or just refusing to accept reality that you are wrong, refusing to take accountability because your ego is so much bigger than everything else. And there's always consequences for the things that you do. You may not understand how something is going to affect you today, but I guarantee you tomorrow... You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. So be thrill of caution when you're taking action against people in life, trying to put them in their place. That's not your place to do that. That's the universe's place. I'm telling you, the universe is the one that give it, give it and take it. A lot of religious statements are coming out. So this could be people that are religious. I don't know what kind of God they serve. But it cannot be the God that the rest of us in the light working community. Are. No, it's not the same God. It's a different God. This one here. And you see this, right? This one is balancing this one out. It's like he's, this one is exposing this one right here. It's a, uh-uh. This is the truth with love. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.